After the show last Friday, I headed to Chicago in my 2010 GMC Terrain. It was a short trip, so I made sure to only pack the necessities. You got my dollhouse? Got it. Careful with it. Careful with the dollhouse. Honk if you love Oprah. <laughs> ah, the open road. I stopped to get the smallest big gulp they had at 7-Eleven. I wasn't thirsty, but I was lonely. Normally, I don't pick up hitchhikers and kids you shouldn't either, unless they look friendly, like these two. Carl and Yolanda were so nice, I let them watch episodes of my show in the dual DVD players in the back seat. They were impressed because they said they weren't allowed to have DVD players in prison. They wanted to go with me all the way to Chicago, but I thought Vegas would be the perfect place for them. I'm gonna miss Carl and Yolanda. And my watch, but lesson learned. I left Vegas behind and headed up into the Rocky Mountains. The best part about Colorado is it had plenty of wide open spaces for me to explore. better. I was almost there, and thanks to the terrain's navigation system, I never had to worry about directions. Go straight. Go straight. <sighs> Sorry. Go straight. Finally, I arrived at Harpo Studios, and just in time. As I was pulling in, I realized that Harpo was Oprah backwards. How about that? I wonder if she knows that. The show was amazing, and so was seeing my issue of O Magazine. And after the show, I wanted to be the first to buy a copy. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hey. There you go. Oh. Keep the change? Hey. Mm. You know what? Oh. Honk, if you love Alan and Oprah. Drove all the way. There and back, drove all the way.